Oh, you can feel the energy in the building here tonight. Hi, everybody, along with Carl and Bay, the Brave Rural. I'm James Sabalski. Let's get ready to do this. All part of the team here at EA Sports. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Raiders take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. The Walleye have gained control of the puck along the wall. Sends a pass over. Nice zone entry from the right side. Oh, he had the right idea but couldn't make that play with the pass. He almost lost it for a second there but regains control of the puck. Great block on the play. Musa quickly over to Riley. Worcester's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Bunting. Worcester's got it across the line. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Breezy. Passes it to Breezy. Feeds it over to Cappy. From the point, they take control of it. And there's the save. Stevens works the puck in his own zone. Takes the return feed. Good hit on the play. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Denies them in close. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Roosters working the transition through the middle of the ice. Moves it to Barber. Takes the feed. And just gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Cappy's loving the puck. Quick pass to Riley. Steves will play to the corner. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Koshik's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. <laughs> When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Worcester's got the game's first goal. Now they'll play in front. Best place to be, of course, is out in front where you set the pace. The other guys have to chase you for the rest of the night. The Raiders looking against the half wall. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Track that puck really well. The puck gets passed to the slot, and he has to make the save on a dangerous chance. Let's see what the officials are calling. That's not great timing, James. I mean, you're trying to get back in the game. Now you've got to kill this penalty off, too. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. With the stop. Worcester's got the puck in their own end. To his teammate. Sends the pass down low. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Grayson rips it. really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Stubbs it into the opposite side. Let's move to the middle. Oh, what a chance! And they fanned on the puck. Rips it and rips it. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. The walleye have 
position along the boards. Steves looks around. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And there we go. Icing is the call. Here in the later stages of this period, 2-0 is where we sit. Worcester's got it in the offensive zone. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Steves. The Raiders gain possession along the wall. anymore but what a goal I don't think they do James but he's in close quarters he has no room really to maneuver but he does not miss very often from there that's a great shot puck possession so critical in today's game and the official ready to drop the puck right here Worcester's ready to go on the attack Close quarters, James. It's money. Not this time. The goalie beats him with the stop. won the draw. And now he moves it to Steves. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. Worcester's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Barber. Great save! There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Lots of time left in this period. 
Worcester's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Burke's got it in the defensive end. Can't make it work. Picked up along the wall by Burke. Moves the puck over to Barber. Takes the feed. He grabs the puck here on the point. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Burke swinging the puck through center ice. Fires it! Turned aside with a glove. Nearing the midway mark of the period. This has been a lopsided affair. 4-0 is where we're sitting. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Pass broken up. From the point, looks to make it Looking for that glitcher, eh, bud? Big time stop there. Great read by the goalie going side to side to take that one away. Worcester's got it now. Slides it diagonally to Cappy. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Raiders will play it in their own end. And he regains control of the puck. Worcester's got a hold of it along the wall. Cooney's got control of the puck in the corner. Denies it in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Quick feed to Barber. Big time stop. Patrick's fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but it's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. Barber's been looking for a way off the ice for a little bit of time on this shift. He was injured somewhere in the midst of it. He wants to get off the ice. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Worcester's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Worcester's been in control all game long here. The scoreboard shows what it should. They've dominated. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Here we go, it's a two-on-one! Looking for that glitch, eh, bud? He's been really good on these high-danger chances, and here's another one right from the slot. But he's trapped that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. Hockey's really gonna have to focus now. Every time she touches the puck, she's gonna hear the booze, as she was part of that injury earlier on where the home team player was hurt. And that's broken up. Worcester's got possession here in the neutral zone. And that's picked off in the defensive end. In all out, scores! He had to be ready for this puck to get it up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set, it's in the net. Minnesota's got one here in the second. They need many more to follow, though. Yeah, but they've got to start somewhere, I guess. Something positive, something to build on, but it's been a pretty rotten game for them so far. The walleye have taken to the offensive attack. Worcester's got it in their own zone. We've got icing on the play. Face off coming up. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Minnesota's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. And he'll opt to play the puck here. Stevens has it in the defensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? You can usually put that one on the board from in tight. He finishes close to the net as well as anyone. Not right there. The officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Gain possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Gets it over to Riley. And a nice punch check inside the neutral zone. And that's just out of reach. The Raiders gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Steves. Right in front. Oh, it's just the 
displays when that puck goes into the net, you know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. The walleye have gained possession off the wall. Moves inside! Big time stop with the glove! The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. The Raiders win it in the defensive zone. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Here in period number three, James Sadowski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Final frame is underway here. 40 minutes into this one here, Razor, how do you see things? Minnesota had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pops to the net. And that slides right out to center ice. And does it again. Bang, bang, two unbelievable stops. That puck doesn't end up in the net. What a great play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Worcester's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Riley's won the draw. Moves it around along the half wall. Poked away at center by Burke. Grabs control of it at the point. A chance! Fantastic save! Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Worcester's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Plenty. Puck grabbed by Barber. Back to the point it goes. And he makes the save. Hoshik's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Raiders lead it 4-2. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Burks taking it from his own end. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. There's the whistle, we've got it offside. Moments away from the faceoff, let's get back to the action. won the draw. Pushed away in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Bunty. Look out, here they come on the attack. And that pass doesn't go. Thunderous hit. Oh my. Yeah, that one hurt me over here. That is an enormous hit. He closed the gap in a hurry. Grabs it and rips it. And that doesn't reach the net. Stones him in front. When everybody gets jammed into one spot into close quarter, somehow he always escapes with a chance on goal. Just turned away that time. Worcester's won the face off deep in their own end. And a stiff break set up. Fires it on net. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Picked up along the boards by Burke. Not able to connect. Worcester 
Barber's got a hold of the puck. Barber's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Grabbed along the board by Burke. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Stoppage and play offside the call. Well, here comes the response. You can't do that. You cannot shoot the puck after the whistle and expect that nobody's going to get grumpy. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Oh, it only takes one to stagger a player. In that fight, he looks like he struggled here at the end of it. He's not doing very well. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Sends it to the middle, and that's stopped. Worcester's moving it into the offensive end. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Across to Riley. The Raiders take it along the wing. Takes the puck at the point. And that goes off a player. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. The Raiders have it in the offensive zone. Scores! He put it into his own net. Worcester's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They stretch the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Kirby's going to play the puck behind the cage. Takes the shot. Big save by the goaltender. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. Great hit on the play. Would have been nice to see a little bit more of this enthusiasm when the game was still close. Worcester's got it from the end of the Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Looks to pass it to Gooby. Gooby's got it along the way. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Gets it out of his own end. Stevens carries the puck in his own zone. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. And we'll reset things after that icing. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Huge hit! Oh, he got rattled hard. Not only that, he dropped the stick. Now he's got to collect himself and go pick up his twig as well. Maintains possession. Moves it quickly over. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post.
Bobby along with Ray Ferraro. We're ready to go. I know you're ready to go. Let's drop the puck. There's been a lot of chatter over the last 24 hours on social media about this one, and it is time. We're underway. And that's turned aside. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Hunts it away in his own end. And a quick solid hit on that play. Here's the chance on the attack. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Into the attacking end. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Quick pass over to Gooby. Here's a chance. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. How about a foul? We'll get seriously, James. Call the goal sooner or later. This game doesn't have one, and that one goes off the goalpost. Here's a first look at the power play. Pretty good chance here to break a scoreless game. The first power play of the game gets your best guys on the ice. The frozen biscuits drop and we are back underway here. And the puck leaves the zone. Quick feed to Bunting. Looks to set up at the point now. Worcester's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Blistering shot! Stops that one. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. You'll need more than that to beat them. When you're the offensive player, it seems like so much more work when you got to go hunt the puck down in the corner. That's a good save. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Walleye have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Riley's won the draw inside his own end. Well, we get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Oh, what a chance. And a... He scores, step. He scores! In close, one of the game's better shooters. You cannot leave him alone. He does not miss there. Worcester's got the opening goal in this contest. So much time left, but it just feels better to play with the lead. And they must be pretty happy to score that quickly. Moves it to Gagnon. And he takes the feed. Into the corner. Takes the puck behind the net. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Breezy. Worcester's got possession at center. Here's a short pass to Barber. And that goes off the player in front. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Angles it over to Steves. Barber's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He has to go ahead goal earlier on. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Can't make the connection on the pass. Puck picked up by Bunting. Moves it quickly over to Riley. Oh, and it goes the inside of the post. Riley's won a couple of shots off the post already. I can't believe he's not so frustrated right now. Takes a shot! Turned aside with a glove by Hasek. Past the midway mark in this period. The Raiders lead it 1-0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Feed to Burke. 
dumps it in. The Raiders gain possession along the wall. Worcester's ready to go on the attack. Barber's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Well, here's another call. And, you know, this has been a tough night for the home team here. Well, there's absolutely nothing that has gone their way. Another penalty call, and the fans are going to voice their frustrations again. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Drives to the page. Scores! And just like that, we're going to go there. We're tied. Man, did this bench explode, James. Here you are just hoping your penalty killers can hang on, keep the game close. And they come up with a huge play to even the score. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Oh, oh the rising hit. He got all of that one. That's going to feel tomorrow like he was in a car crash today. That was a nine on the Richter scale. Shot. Just saved by the goalie. Koshik's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Bunting's got the puck. It's and now it Burke's doing everything he can to get himself off the ice here. He's not 100% banged up somewhere on this ship. Worcester's coaches will not be liking that power play. Here she goes! Oh, the breakaway! Big save! I know you like goals for all, but that was impressive. Yeah, great, good. Nice save, pal. <laughs> Scooped up along the wall by Gooby. Hangs on to the puck. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Right up the gut, here they go. Return pass. Worcester's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. She's so good when she gets a second or two. She never seems to miss when she gets a moment to look and find where the open spot is. From the neutral zone now. Couldn't make the connection on a play. Who's the puck? Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. Here comes the sentence. On a tight game like this, you just want to limit the damage so you can get to the intermission. Riley's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. And with the buzzer, that puts the bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. for period number two. Minnesota's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw. He scores! Another shorthanded mark. see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. Riley's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Cut scooped up by Bunting. Sends the puck across. And he makes the save. Has to read the play. Gets across the net and makes the save. Here's the shot. Answers the call with a big save. Oh 
Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Riley's won the face-off. Minnesota's across the blue line. Slides the puck down low. On the attack along the boards. From against the wall into the open ice. so aggressive the way they push the play up the ice. This is really remarkable play, shorthanded. Riley's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And now it's grabbed by Burke. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Raiders' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. He scores! Well, they had to get themselves an opportunity somehow, but down three is not in. They're down by a couple now, and they can now press to see if they can make it a, a strike closer. The comeback is on. Minnesota's won it. Moves it to Riley. Here's a chance. Worcester's looking to break out. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Worcester's still down by two goals in this one. Gets a hold of the puck. Center and feed. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Quick shot. In close. Big save. Hoshik's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. The setters will glide into the dot. Worcester's got it in the offensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Gagnon's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Barber got it against the boards. Sends it down low. Boom, there's a hit. You throw a hit like he did earlier in the game, it's no secret. The target gets on your back. Eventually, they find them. The Raiders moving ahead. Here's a chance. And he puts that one aside with ease. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 4-2 is the score. Buttings won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Barber's going to play it against the half wall. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. There's the whistle icing the call. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. They've got a tired group against them. That win sets up an offensive play. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Important draw for him. The players are tired after the icing. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And a little body contact on that play. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. And now it's over to Cappy. Gagnon's moving the puck through his own zone. Fails to find the open man. Drives to the sweet spot. Passes over to Barber. With possession along the wall. Quick feed down low. A point blank. Oh, what a save in front. That's blocked. Quick pass to Cappy. Takes the pass. Stop the pass. How did he stop that one? I thought he was going to beat the goaltender there, Gene. 
This is his spot on the ice where he's most dangerous, but he's turned away with a good save. Breezy's got the puck in his own zone. He was totally locked in on that play. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Russell's close, but they can't get close enough. That shot hits the goal for and stays out. And now he tries to get it across to Gagnon. Riley stick handling in his own zone. Push it on net. Oh, what a stop. Rooster's got the puck along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. Now over to Riley. Here's a short pass to Steves. And he was ready for that save. Tremendous athletic reflexes there with the close stop. Burks lugging the puck. Moves it over to Steves. And he takes the dish. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Getting into the later stages of this period, we've got ourselves a 4 2 hockey game. Riley's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Gains the zone through center. Cutting to the top of the and he's able to handle that one. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around.
stretching and clawing back as they light the lamp with a big one here in the third. Little momentum, little more energy. Now they've had the puck up. They have to continue the puck. Take a chance if you have to. Oh, and surfs up a little too sweet with that save. Kathy's helped her team produce by using her zone ability, guys. It's a huge part of how she can contribute. Riley's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. There's reflexes on display tonight. The Walleye have taken possession along the wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Worcester's still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. The Raiders win the draw. And now he moves it quickly to Plenty. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Steves has got it along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Into the corner, he takes the pass. And he usually stops that one. The Raiders have it now. Feeds it to Barber. The Raiders carry it along the wall. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And not much on that one. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Breezy. Minnesota's got the puck in the corner. Sends it out in front. And that goes off a stick. Through pass ahead. Barber's had a great game. He's already got three points. And, right ahead of him. and they keep the pressure on. Moves it to Gagnon. Sends it into the offensive zone. It's in. 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 Minnesota's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side where this night has been a nightmare. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Grabs the puck. And they score! You get in that close, and he's got the puck. Good night. He doesn't miss from there. Minnesota's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost the perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Oh, that's three! I have nine of these games. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Steves. Into the offensive end now. Sends the feet in front. Oh, and he keeps it here. Wants the puck on that. And he makes the easy save. She shows great points in close quarters. Usually able to finish in this tight. Not here. Keep your head up, Kirby. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. What a fun night for the fans. I mean, if the puck's not in one net, it's in the other. This has gone on from the beginning of the game, and it's not going to stop. Here's a short pass to Gooby. Can't find his man. Taken along the wall by Gooby. Let's it fly. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Worcester's got the puck behind the net. Picked off. And the puck clears the zone. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Manages to hang on. Shot! Nice save from point blank range. That flat out reaction, James. That puck is coming at the goaltender from the whole slot. He's not much time to think. Position, reflexes, save. Makes the move in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to feed it over to Gooby.
The home fans acknowledging what they just saw. <laughs>
I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. Steve slides into the face-off dud, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Good heads-off play to sneak in there on the tie-up and come up with the puck. Made the save on the play. Gets the puck over to Cappy. Riley's ready to go. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Shot! And that'll beat the highlight reels with that close stop! Good hit on the play. And here's the pass to Lava. Oh, and it stays out as he uses his lumber! And he hangs on just as time runs out! There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. Still looking for the game's first goal as we are underway in the second. Three throws between the benches. Grace, give me a sense of how you see things so far. The magicians would have heard from their coaches. I'm pretty certain about the number of turnovers they have. That's not a good place to be, and it's really frustrating for both coaches and players when you've always got to chase the puck back down after you've given it away. Windsor's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's an offensive chance. And that goes off a body. Windsor's got the puck now. Great poke by Burke. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. Oh, look at the pass. Laying the body. Moves the puck to Bordalo. Well, but certainly not at 100%. He's just trying to get through the rest of this shift and get back to the bench. Windsor's got the puck along the wall. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Windsor's on the attack. Scores! There was some spice on that. I don't know how he gets free. I mean, everybody knows he's so good at this one-timer. He gets enough room to powder this thing, and it's in the net. We watch him do this time and again at practice. Of course, there's no goalies in there, because who wants to volunteer for this? But this is a missile. The one-timer blows right by the goaltender. Nice job tying up his opponent. And now he angles it across to Cappy. Feeds it down low. Shoots it out of the end. Made the stop on that play. Sharp reaction save. The Magicians will play it from the defensive zone. Windsor's got it along the wall. Point shot. And that's blocked away. Here's an off man rush. Centering pass. Can't connect. Taken by Marlowe. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. And that puck leaves the zone. Windsor's on the attack. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to Marlowe. That's wide of the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Here's a pass down. Tonight, more than half the period has 
and played. We got a tie game. Slides it across to Steve. The magicians have it from their own end. Oh, that was like a car crash. Grabs control of it at the point. Being saved by the goaltender watching that one. Center's gliding up to the face-off dot here. Riley's won a big draw on their own end. Can't make the connection on the pass. Into the corner now. Here he is, the oh, This game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. Minnesota's given themselves control of this game now with a one goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple goal lead going into period three. Puts the puck in play cross corner. Here he is with the backhander. Gets in the lane with the body. And that pass doesn't go. Stevens elects for the breather and goes for the whistle. I like this play, James. He's seen enough chaos in front of him. Face-off. Steps inside the line. Here's a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Hoshik's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed to cover there. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Jabs the puck away. Steves has it in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Riley. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Move! Oh, a good textbook hit there. Steves takes it inside his own end. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Stevens is going to hang on for a whistle and get a breather here for his team. That guy starts to run around. You get a little weary. That's an important cover. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's got a one-goal lead. Riley's won the draw. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Steves has the puck against the half wall. Sends the pass down low. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. And that banks off a stick. The Magicians move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Single stop by Hoshik. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Riley. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Takes the shot! All right, that brings period number two to an end. Uh, the ice resurfacers coming out onto the ice. They'll give it a little cleaning, and I can see Ray Ferraro down there between the benches tap dancing. I can only imagine where he needs to go. Third period, just around the corner. Ray, I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. 
And this one's underway here in the third. We've got 40 minutes in the books. Ray Ferraro is between the benches. Ray, how do you see things playing out? Windsor's players have been a turnover machine tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck. They're losing the game. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Puts it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Poked away in the neutral zone by Darlene. Windsor's got the puck in their own end. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. There's another stop. Minnesota's got the puck against the board. Comes up with the stop. Stevens gobbles up the puck and he'll wait for the whistle. Oh, now you got a chance to get organized again. The freezing is a good safe play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Handles the puck. Here's a shot. He knocks it oh! They get a chance to... Change the complexion of this game. That's a big goal to even the score. The centermen glide into position. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Jostles for the puck but still hands on. He knocks it off. And he puts his team in front. James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Windsor's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What do you hear? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. And that's broken up. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Windsor's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Try to wear down the opponents here. And he takes the feed. Comes up with a big time block save. Position is perfect. He gets into the butterfly and makes the save. Windsor's got the puck along the wall. Passes ahead from the right side. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. <laughs> Plays when that puck goes into the net, you know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. Come make the connection on the play. From the point, they take control of it. Puck grabbed by Darlene. Nice feed. There's a save by Hasha. Just dash this one against the board. Don't worry, James. You're safe up there. Down here, that sounded like a car crash. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Magicians work it through center. Marlowe's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Oh, these are the games I love, James. You know I always talk about how much I like offense. A one nothing game's great, but these wild, high-scoring affairs, they're the most fun to call and by far the most fun to play in. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. You can really only drop the power play so many times. The key is, don't lose your confidence in it when it doesn't succeed. Just get right back to the basics of getting the puck to the net and people there at the same time. Stop by the goaltender. Got a little piece of that one. That's intercepted. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Tries to get this man advantage going for their own end now. Minnesota's got the puck shorthanded. Looking for space inside the D zone. Trying to get it out of their own end. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. 
From the point, looks to make something happen. What a great read, breaking up the pass. Takes the pass from the left wing. Riley's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Wow, that seems like a big miss, James. Critical moment in the game, and the power play laid flat for them. Thomas Bonnie's in the way. Minnesota's got to hold him in against the wall. On man rush. Here he is. For the match. goal here at a critical time. The game's tied. You're looking for somebody to make a play. Who's going to step up? There it is. They've got the lead. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And a great scene! Quick feed to Lava. Oh, it didn't take long for this crowd to turn. Well, I guess it's another penalty against the home team. They've had it. They want the official to know it. Wins has got another opportunity here on the man advantage. You never know when your opportunities are going to show up here to tie the game. Well, I don't know if the power play can be any bigger of a chance than that. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Slides it over to Darlene. And he takes the pass. Unable to reach that one. Wins has got the puck along the boards. Receives the pass. Windsor's got the puck against the wall. Minnesota's looking to break out. Scooped up along the wall by Darlene. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Moves it to Jenkins. Riley's up and ready to join the play. And the penalty killers will get a well-deserved break here as they kill off the man advantage. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. Oh, a clutch save! I love the way he plays. He's like a predator in the offensive zone. He's looking for the spot to shoot that one time. It's their fan, it's on the net, but what a save by the goalie. Minnesota's coming on the attack as they gain the zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Moves around along the half wall. Quick pass to Borla. And that goes off somewhat in front and doesn't reach the net. That's a really good play, James. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You just want to advance the puck forward. There's no need for a risky play. Sends it down low. Tries to make a diagonal pass to Lava. Here's a three, and he rips the post. Windsor's player is the first goal in the game. A really good scoring chance, but it hits the post. It doesn't close the gap. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Minnesota's performance maybe not their A-plus game, but still good enough for the win. Even though it wasn't perfect, I thought they were in pretty good shape. There were some nervous moments, but the goalie's supposed to make some saves, and they come out on top.
It's a clean sheet of ice and a beautiful night for hockey. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro for EA Sports. It is about time to drop the puck. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Walleye have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. The Magicians gain possession along the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Across the line from center. Shot! This one is quick, and it's already on the board. 80s hockey, here we go! He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. Windsor's got a jump in their step tonight as they strike early. Well, that's going to help as well, James. Now...
this should be an absolute firecracker of a game tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back to EA Sports. Face-off is just seconds away. The Walleye have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Puck picked up by Marlowe. On their heels, trying to clear. Let's get the call. Marlowe's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. What a great opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Scoreless game, you go on the power play, you want to attack this. You can change the way the game Get looks right. in the next two minutes. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Steve setting up against the wall. Windsor's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Takes the puck at the point. Looking to break out here on the power play. Tries to get it over to Cappy. Windsor's got the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Marlowe's ready to join the play. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes the feed from the left side. Great defensive effort with the stick. Passes the puck over to Cappy. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stays with it. Takes the pass to the offensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Directs it on over to Bordalo. Three on one, and here they come on the attack. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Slides the puck over. They score! Wow! Love the move here, James. Patient. Dragging the defender in tight where they think they've got a chance to stop the play. But they don't. Great hands. Great move, and it's in the net. So good handling the puck. When he gets that puck in the zone, he's got the puck on the string. The defender reaches, makes the mistake, and gets beat. Now the goalie's got no chance. Minnesota's weathered the storm here, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. Always better to play from in front, and they'll want to expand this lead as quickly as they can. To show that you're able to help your new team, you want to show them that you're ready to play. He's on the board. He'll feel better now. You can almost feel the frustration oozing out of the goaltender. I mean, they're in the right spot. They make most of the save, but it's not enough, and it's in the net. Guys, this is his first goal with this club here, and you know you never forget your first goal. I'm sure his teammates aren't going to forget it either. Puck exits the zone. Short pass to Riley. Lava's got it along the wing. Goes full circle with the puck. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Borderlow's looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. The Magicians played along the wing. 
And a good solid hit on that play. And he makes the save on that play. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Stevens gets on top of the puck, and we'll get a whistle. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed, too. Now you can get a drink of water and reset. Steve's hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. Marlowe's won the draw inside his own end. Moves it quickly over to Bordalo. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Patrick's mobility is one of his biggest strengths. He's able to use his post-to-post -post zone ability to cut across the crease, make big stops on the opposition, and it's something we should keep an eye on, guys. Off the draw, and a nice job blocking up his opponent. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Big time stop! Stevens is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position. I mean, it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Marlowe's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Magicians fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet go, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Past the halfway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Riley's won the faceoff. Looking to set up offensively. Steves plays it against the boards. Sets the feet in front, and that goes off a stick. And a little body contact on that play. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Pass broken up. That goes wide. Good heads up play to knock it away. Jenkins has the puck inside the defensive zone. Can't make it work. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. The Walleye have possession along the boards. Hoshik's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around if the shift gets long. This helps. Burke's got great hockey senses, and he gets a good stick on the ice to intercept and disrupt his opponent's passes, guys. We call this his quick pick zone ability, and you know his coaches appreciate those details to the game. And sends it just out of reach. Bordalo's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a back <laughs> Got a one goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Slides it across to Marlowe. Can't make the connection on the pass. And he moves it up to Riley. Drives to the sweet spot. Great reach with the poke check. And he denied him there. She's going to shake her head all the way back to the bench after that one. You don't get many chances from in there. She doesn't usually miss. First period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. to go. 
Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Minnesota's players and coaches were very happy after that first period. They all knew that the puck got turned over way too often. Made it way too easy for the opponent. They also know they're pretty fortunate to be in this game step. With possession along the wall. They complete the pass as it goes off a stick. And the puck departs the zone. Riley's got it into offensive territory. Drills them. Windsor's got the puck. Gains the zone through center. Slick feed. The magicians have it behind the net. Hoshik's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Windsor's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Oh, and that's got the crowd busting after that stop. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Magicians win it. Slides the puck across to Steves. Maintains possession. And he slides it quickly to Burke. Sends a pass over. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Pass it up ahead. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Darlene. The Magicians gain possession in their own end. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Lava. Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that one off the side of the net. Thunderous collision along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Drops the hammer. Hockey's struggles are pretty easy to see. I mean, just watch her. She's not moving around on the ice at all. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Steves looks around. And now he moves it to Burke. Puts it on net. That one's off the blocker. Slides the puck down low. Right on the doorstep. Nice took a turn on the receiving end of a big hit. We'll see what that's going to impact for the rest of this night. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Shot! Great save from in tight. Hoshik's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Well past the midway mark of this period, it's a 2-1 game. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a beautiful glove save! I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. And that's just out of reach. And there we go, icing is the call. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Once you ice the puck, you got a few fatigued guys on the ice, this draw's important. Windsor's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabs control of it at the point. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Marlowe's taking it from his own end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Broken up with a stick. Moves it to Steves. And that pass doesn't go. Jenkins grabs the puck inside his own territory. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass to Steve. And now their bench has a little more belief as they've evened up the score. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one.
And now it's over to Steves. Minnesota's got the puck in the corner. Oh, look who it is again. Man, he's been on the receiving end of half a dozen times or so tonight. He's clearly part of the game plan tonight. I can't even imagine what the welts will look like after this one. That's an open. And it goes off a stick and off target. Centering pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And it's off target as it hits a body. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Riley. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Moves the puck down low. Muffs the shot attempt. Oh, they couldn't get it from the play. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. We've got a third period just around the corner. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. On the backhand in front, spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Trey Green with the stick. And he blocks the shot, great defensive play. My goodness, look at this, the pressure is really starting to play. Look at this, the cycle came in full of here. And the game's got it in the own end. Sends the pass over. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Look at this, it's a two-on-one. Fails to find the open man. Handles the bank pass with all the boards. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Gains the zone through the middle. And now he tries to get it across to Riley. The Magicians cross the blue line and are on the attack. Slides it over with pace to Cappy. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. And makes the routine save. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Grabs the puck. Scores! And there's the hat trick in the silence. This crowd on the road. Nine. That feels good when you can zip up the home team's arena. Great feeling. Three goals will do it. More than half the period left to play. Minnesota's got a one-goal lead. Grabbed along the board by Dolly. Jenkins works the puck in his own zone. Windsor's across the blue line. Fantastic save! Well, that pass is right on the 
DDT for the one-timer. It's like he's at the forward tees. Hammered on goal with a great stop on the play. And a strong defensive effort he came from that. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. An ill-advised penalty, a bad time. One goal down, and now your penalty killers have to keep you right there. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Power plays are going to go up and down. You're going to be successful some nights and others not so much. This is and it goes off the iron and stays out. Minnesota's lead will stay the same. That's a really good chance. The jump by an inch or so hits the post and stays out. And he slides it quickly to Burke. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And there's the save. And now he angles it across to Cappy. They've had pressure on the offensive zone from the beginning of the ship. Puck scooped up by Burke. But he's really got him on their heels here now. And they come away with possession here on their own end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around. They've worked hard for this goal to get the chance. They finally put it away. And now everything, as you mentioned, is all level. The magicians have tied things up here in the late stages of this, and it's been a fun one tonight. It's been a good ride. They've had to find a way back to get this game level. Now they've got a chance to pull it out here in the last part of the third period. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. A quick save. Oh, well done by the goaltender here, James. He makes the save, but he deflects it away at the same time. These games are fun for everyone, but if you're supposed to produce offense like I think I was supposed to, these are your bread and butter. You better get on the board in these games. And it turns off a stick. Through center along the wing. Great reach with the hook check. Takes the feed. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the hook check. Into the corner of the attacking area. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Fires it. Gets it from the one-timer. Jenkins explores his options in the corner. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Darlene. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Marlowe's got it against the boards. Poked away. Sends it in front. Here comes the official's call. Honest, this isn't the best of news. A penalty this late in the tie game. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. James, I think they've got to work a little harder to get inside the circles here, get in front of the goalie's vision. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Burke's got it in the defensive end. Cuts to the paint. Riley's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And it's a quick pass to the The goalie's going to see the puck too cleanly. He couldn't see it at all, though. He kind of called that one. Well, once in a while, you get him right. Most of the over to Riley. Locked under the open ice. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck up to Riley. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Here. 
are set. Face off, ready to resume play. Expression after this one is be careful what you wish for, right? This is what they wanted, this is what they 